And so to offer remarks and pay tribute to Burma's democracy movement, it is now my great honor to call upon Nobel laureate and Congressional Gold Medal recipient, Aung San Suu Kyi. This is a completely different occasion in some ways from what happened, the one we had yesterday. Because today I'm part of you. I'm one of those honoring the four who are sitting there. And to be honored is great. But to honor others is even greater. And I feel very happy that today I'm in a position to honor my, honor my fellow countrymen and women. I'm sorry that Minko Nai is not here today, but you have seen what he stands for, what he did as part of the democracy movement, and you've also seen what the others did to deserve the honor that we are paying them, the tribute that we're paying them today. It is of great comfort to me to know that there are many men and women in my country who are prepared to sacrifice their personal comfort and their personal place in life for the place of others, to make sure that the rest of the country is safe, to make sure that the rest of the country is free. It is because of people like this that we can go on and be confident that our future will be happy. I do not want to take up too much time because this is not my day, this is their day, and I want all of you to be very, very clear about this. We are here to honor those four who are sitting there and of the fifth one who is not present. By the way, I would like to say that the reason why Minko and I was not able to come was because he refused to use the passport that had been given to him until all his uh, fellow ex-prisoners the, the, of the 88th generation were also issued passports, and they have not now all received their passports. It's a bit too late for him to come, but still I think we'll be happy to know that all of them have now received their passports. So, so all I would say is this. What had happened in the past has taught us that if we want to succeed, we have to work together. And the whole future of Burma is before us. And if we are to assure this future for succeeding generations, we all have to learn to work together. Sometimes it is more difficult to work, learn to work together than to suffer individually. So we are now, now about to embark on the most difficult lessons of our life, but I'm sure that these four, along with others like them, will be able to absorb that lesson and to help us build a Burma that is democratic, that is peaceful, that is united, and that is free. Thank you.